Hey everybody, welcome back. Captain of Industry, hope you're having a great day today. Today, I'm going to take a moment to sort of slow down a little bit and to address the reasons, I think, that why people are dying off. Um, I don't think it's that bad yet. There's probably a needs issue and all that stuff, but if you take a look at this, these are flares, of course, they're going off. And they've been going off more regularly now, and I don't like it. Okay. This one is burning off ammonia. 20 air pollution. Sucks. This one. Uh, looks like it's burning off diesel. 20 air pollution. Sucks. I want to do something different with this. Let's take a moment and pause. We're going to go to the statistics panel. Where you can see in the pollution tab. How pollution has progressed over time. And you can see pretty easily, you know... So our industry is slowed. We do have some exhaust and it's happening. And it's whatever. And, you know, then I had my power problems where, you know, people didn't have any water anyway. So there was no water pollution. And then we get riding along and you're riding along. And then same thing happens again. Power dies, pollution dies, productivity dead. There's a little, little industrial recession happening over here. Bit of turmoil. Tumultuous times it was. And then I figured it out. Got all the power back online. And wouldn't you know, now things are purring pretty well. And like the water pollution's getting a little out of control. The air pollution's getting a little out of control. Take a look at the trend for the last three years. Clearly an upwards trend in air. So I want to do a couple of things. I want to identify where it's coming from. And I want to fix it. And uh, our technology has progressed now to where we can fix it. Because up until this point, I really didn't have many means. There was a few. I just was busy doing other things. Um, but like now there is a means to taking it out and getting rid of it. Okay. Because our tech tree has progressed all the way over until Research Lab 4, which is done. Uh, and I can proceed with other research after that, which is nice. Um, I would really like to get this fuel gas synthesis. But we have a couple of problems. I just want to address them one at a time if I can. Okay. So the first problem is oil, which, I mean, as soon as this thing is built, never mind, it's done now, uh, we can get more oil coming in, and that's good. But as we get more oil, so too do we get a lot more steadier production here. And there's two fundamental things that are happening here. Obviously, we need to use more fuel, uh, which in order, the only way to do that is to make less over here, because... You know, this is supplementing that supply. But now that we have a really good constant barrage of oil, we kind of don't need to do as much over here. So for that reason, I can shut off a couple of these. That's going to free up the power and the labor to do other things, which is kind of nice. All right. Now, the second thing is we have a bit of a shortage of fuel gas anyway. So I wasn't able to constantly produce with these. With these I was only getting about half the production. And that's mostly because my food is being redirected to people first now um and until these containers fill it's about half full on this side and this one's got still empty but until these containers fill we're not getting a whole lot of production over here and that's okay because i want them to use it over here and if i want these guys to use more fuel from this supply well i'm gonna need them you know to not draw as much from that supply okay here's the thing that we're burning over here though this thing goes off every once in a while and what's going off is ammonia. So this is how my tank setup works for ammonia, right? Comes in from the sour water area and then comes in here. And if it can fit in the tank, then it goes in the tank. Otherwise it burns, okay? I wanna prevent that. Now, in order to prevent that, of course, we either need to produce less ammonia or we need to consume ammonia as a product more often. What we were doing is making fertilizer, but fertilizer, is made too quickly. It's constantly full. We're not using enough of it. Now I can expand farms to make that happen. I've added one right here to help out with that. And I am kind of hoping that as I upgrade these farms to greenhouses, they'll use more fertilizers. But the thing is, our technology has progressed now. We do, we do not need, okay, to create fertilizer, uh, sorry, to create ammonia over here anymore. All right, I'm gonna shut these down. We don't need to do this. All right, and these electrolyzers can get shut down. Now, I may remove these as, as you know, 
chemical plants. For now, I'm going to leave them alone. Um, I'm going to use these electrolyzers, and I want to show you a couple of things that we're going to do to help improve our situation here with pollution. Okay. I think the easiest one to address uh, right off the bat, well, air pollution is the worst one, but uh, you'll notice if I go to the population statistics here that our loss is 0.45%, and most of that is water pollution. So what I'd like to do, start processing that a little bit. To do that, we need to get the water treatment plant. This is going to take 40 units of wastewater, combine it with sand, which we have too much of anyway, and chlorine, and it's going to give us water and dirt. That's pretty fair. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to take some of the wastewater off of the wastewater pipe that's coming from here, and we're going to redirect it over here. Now, I'd like to do this as an either or thing, but because this pipe is so high up, it's going to be kind of challenging to do that. One thing I could maybe do is take it off the pipe a little bit and then like bring it big, bring it down to surface level and then bring it back up. I could do that. Or I could process all of this stuff over here since this is where it terminates anyway and goes down to the low ground. And you know what? I kind of like that idea better because I have the space for this. So we're, And the sand is over here too. So we're going to make the chlorine and the sand over here, right? And then we'll process. So for the wastewater, we're going to use 40 units every 30 minutes. Sorry, 30 seconds. 40 every 30. That's pretty good. Um, what we're going to need, though, to input that, we have enough to input that, of course. But what we're also going to need is we're going to need two chlorine every 30 seconds. So let's start maybe thinking about that first. To get chlorine, I need the electrolyzer. This wasn't possible before, but our technology has advanced enough where we can make chlorine. So we take two brine in 10 seconds and make two chlorines. It's a one for one ratio here. So what I think I can do, and actually this is gonna create two every 10. Yeah, two every 10, and then this one uses two every 30. So basically it's one electrolyzer for three water treatment plants. That's expensive. <laughs> we can try it though. So these things are also very expensive to build. They cost 140 red construction parts. It's insanity how expensive this is. But we're going to try and see if we can't make it work. You can see there's a whole bunch of input pipes. And I'm wondering if there's a better place for this. I was going to just put it right here because I can fit three of them. And this is probably the best place to go. But I was really hoping for, I don't know, give me a sign. <laughs> that it could be better. And actually, what's going on here? I'm noticing there's extra pipes just sitting here. These are... They're just sitting here. They're, they're completely... They're not connected to anything. This must have been from that old system, right? Yeah. Let's get rid of that pipe. Uh, this one doesn't need to exist anymore either. I have the extra pipes just sitting here. Yeah, we could probably do something about this. This one can go... This one is to the wastewater. So we'll tap into this one, actually. Yeah, this redirects into the wastewater area. Um, so we might use that pipe, but we don't need the rest of these. So let's just get rid of these. So water treatment plant's going to go, I think, here. We'll flip it over. And there's, since there's no outputs or anything on that side, we'll just go here. And then we'll flip this over and maybe go... Yeah, kind of like this. We could use two for now. But we're going to make enough chlorine for three. I guess we could just store the access. Um, if we scoop them up... Actually, yeah, if we scoot them up, then we have enough room for tank access. Although I could, I could store the access right here too, I suppose. Yeah. We can go underneath this belt. Okay, so we're going to store the access chlorine like right here. We'll say one and two. Or I won't because it won't let me build there. Yeah. So I'll move this over. Say one. Uh, hi, flip it over. Yep. And two. This will be the extra chlorine. Okay. Now for the chlorine and the electrolyzer, we're just using brine. 
what two brine every 10 seconds makes chlorine cool so let's go ahead and flip this over and i could go straight on here but i've got this pipe running alongside this right so to use this as a process so i'm thinking i can just go out one and stick one of these pipes over like that and then the chlorine can come out this side wrap around and stick into this pipe okay i'm pretty sure the trucks can deliver this i don't need to accelerate it um, so this is going to store chlorine and we could do this more centrally located too because i think there's another reason to have chlorine uh, we can use it with filter media eventually we'll use it with plastics uh which was going to be over in this area if, after i do it but it may not be i may put it on the top of the hill we'll see um but for now chlorine is here and then if we need to increase the production of chlorine we just go down this row here that's what this was for anyway so uh okay so we'll let the trucks build that on their own good time we don't need to rush it with the water treatment though we're going to take this wastewater we're going to obviously be using sand which is over here and um it might be good to get a belt output for that so maybe i will take one of these u-shaped conveyors hmm well i've got got this extra output on this tank but i don't want to rob the supply from glass this doesn't technically rob the supply from glass it just sort of robs one of the things that are inputting for glass but we need this moving anyway so i'm gonna pull it off of this one and we can just bring it alongside uh we'll need to duck underneath this somehow come out yeah like this okay now this is a little tricky because they buried this thing and i didn't want them to uh so this might be a challenge but i think if i can maybe get kind of uh well can i get underneath through here will you let me get in there is that a is that a path i can take and it's right up against it so it won't let me do it okay so i'll have to go around this that means we got to go up so we'll go up as high as we can if it lets me that does work it's just weird come on now i wish you guys hadn't buried this <laughs> it's really it's really annoying because it was gonna go right alongside this now i can't go underneath yeah that's a drag well i can go over top of this though yeah that's not bad we could maybe we, we could play that let's say um let's say we go underneath and then we go up above and we go right along here it's kind of it's a little sloppy but it will work and then we'll get ourselves underneath the salt belt which goes yep right there and then underneath this we'll just go right along underneath the salt belt that's fine and it goes all the way over here right and then it'll eventually just go in there so this is where the sand goes in done so water now well there's abundance of water here and we are sending water i think lower are we sending water down to the low ground yeah so this is a water pipe we could upgrade this water pipe and then send it this way pull off that uh the old switcheroo i wonder if i can uh come off of this is that possible it will let me do that it's again it's kind of squiggly but it does let me get in here and i'm gonna use it because of just convenience it, it is right where i want it to be so uh we can bring it all the way over on this side i want it to go right above the belt there it is yep right there and then i think if i bring you this way and drop you down from here i can actually move i think I can move to have these two things closer together like i can scoot this in 
because with this U-shaped conveyor for the dirt, we would just be going like that. And then we can connect it there. Yeah, so this can move forward. This can move over one. So we'll just take this away, copy this, switch it, and go about like that instead. That makes it a little bit more compact, right? And then you could just go into there. And then probably what happens here... Wait, is this an... This is an, this is an out. Well, I just flipped the direction, but... This is an out, and I'm I'm wrong on that. It's not an in. Um, and so this whole pipe that I'm building here, which I just accidentally deleted anyway, fine. Uh, it actually needs to be routed differently than that anyway, so that won't work. That water pipe, I suppose, needs to get into... I don't really don't want to add another pipe to this network here, but it would work. Level one. Uh, this little level two area right here. You can just flow this direction and then meet up with the seawater pipe, which is one of these yeah, here. So that runs right along. It's actually at the right level already. Oh, man. It's like it's meant to be. All right. We're, we're doing that. We're going to run a level one pipe through here. Let's just connect it on this side, just to be sure. So level two, I think, is the right height, right? Then level two, yeah. Level two height, and it connects to this pipe here, I believe. Wait, oh, are you going? Oh, yeah, right here. It's kind of hard to get to it. I need it to be inside so it's not visible. Because it's, yeah, it's moving on me. I don't want it to do that. Don't do that. Connect to this. No, won't do it. Is there another pipe in your way? It's just hard to see. Maybe, it, oh, I think that was it. Oh, I can't tell if that's it or not. You're connected to that one, and that one is seawater. Nice. Okay, so now we'll just have this pipe. We'll run it all the way this direction. I believe it's going to maintain the direction. Yep. The green arrow is on this side now. And so we'll just keep it going yep, underneath all these pipes here until we get over into this area where I want to duck down underneath everything right there. All right. So this is where we're going to put the water. The water comes through here, gets sent that way, and then it just ends up in the whole grid through the same pipe network. And of course, again, once we get to pipes three, these pipes that are over, you know, like they're waiting for their supply because they're pushing so much water through them, we upgrade them. We click them and we upgrade them. And then that's it. Selective upgrades based on what's needed, right? So what we want to do here is we're just going to take this pipe, go that way, and then up above it. Height two at least to here probably then we can cut down and hook in i can go in real tight to the city too there and i could do that or i could put a bridge here which might be cleaner and there's already a bridge there so maybe that does work better yeah i mean the, the belt is underneath but oh speaking of which i should probably connect that it looks like we could have Move that in one, but I don't think so. That's still pretty clean anyway. Uh, I also need to know the direction that this belt is going to eventually go. Uh, this is the wrong conveyor. I don't want to do level two either. Uh, I do need to know where this is going to eventually go. Like the dirt has to go somewhere. So we'll probably need some dirt storage tanks. And I need to process the dirt later. So uh, that's another problem for another day though, because. Really, I just want to get these things operational. So just store the dirt for a while and let trucks come and get it and take it away until I know what to do with it. Uh, so we will take from this U-shaped conveyor. We're going to hook this up here. Nope, oh, right there. Yep. So it looks pretty clean. And obviously, we need to also have a third one to, I think, really fully saturate that area which is what this is going to be for. And I'll probably have it facing this way since it's already kind of up against this anyway. So we'll have that there. 
Um, I may even be able to... I think I could just tuck it into here instead. It takes up less space. And then the dirt, though. Where am I going to put the dirt? Yeah. Also, the wastewater is coming in on this side. So where the wastewater pipe is, this one here, right? We're going to... We're going to want to bring this down around this area and put a pipe balancer in it. So I'm thinking probably right about here to cut you. And let's say right about here. Let's say we cut this section. Pull that off. And then uh, we'll stick a pipe balance there. Unfortunately, I have to put it on the like the bottom because there's no other way to do this. And that's a real sad story. I wish there was a better way to do this. Um, but we have it curly queue down there and then curly queue up here. Okay. And that's how we deliver the wastewater into this system. So from there, we'll have the wastewater on this connection is going to go this way, right? And it's going to come around and stick right there. All right. So that will put be the, the intake for the wastewater. Maybe we need it faster than that. So we'll just hook up two because we can. Because who knows? Maybe that's just needed. And I want you to prioritize X just for now. Eventually, you're going to prioritize O, but... Right now you have to prioritize X because we don't have this operational yet. Okay, so until these things are built, which I probably should at least get one of them built before the other, so we can pause this stuff, right? Uh, the water needs to come out and hook up there. So we'll just have you here and straight over the top. All the way over. Uh, well, it needs to be level two. So straight over the top, like so. And then maybe I could make a bridge. You know what? Screw it. We're making a bridge here. It's going to look better. You know? I'm warming up to the bridges. I like the, the tall pipes, but I'm warming up to this the bridge stuff, you know? We'll have, it, have that go there. Then we'll go straight down over all the way to the end and there and then what we'll do is we'll build a bridge right here yep right up next to the city just right in line with this one too it's like it's meant to be you know really something special and i want to go from this side or this side i could also go you know i could also do this just do a medium one and then it doesn't matter where i go because i can put the pipes in another place too, right? It's a little bigger bridge here. I like it, that's, that's good. Let's go about like that then. We'll build that right now so it's not in the way. So nice and tight, super straightforward, very easy. And uh, we end up with a bridge here, a right, medium bridge. And that gives me flexibility from this side so I could, you know, get another pipe in here and run it across and this pipe could run all the way across, theoretically. The, the acid pipe is in the way, but I can move that, you know? We can have this acid pipe, you know, go up from here. It's fine, no big deal. Electrolyzer could start working right now. It could, yeah. So let's have it turn the brine into chlorine. We can get started storing it here. It's probably got a ways to, ways to go, so we want it to, kind of want it to get to work, right? So let's see how this works. Taking the brine in from all the way over there, by the way, and uh, making chlorine. Oh, it puts into this tank. And we don't need a big pipe. This moves really slowly anyway, so. Maybe once we get like three or four of them, then we can upgrade the, the main travel pipe. But like before that, it doesn't matter. Same thing with this. I, I just, I made this. It's not really needed to move two brine into this. But again, as we proceed to move more here or make more, we'll just put level one pipes off of the big main level two pipe. No big deal. 
Let's deliver this, and we'll deliver this. Just so I can see it in action. This will also get some of the sand moving off of this over. Which is nice. Um, I may want to put a balancer. I think I may want to put a balancer right here. Which if I do that, then I don't really need this long belt. So maybe not. Maybe we'll just say that the water treatment plant comes directly from rock processing. Because that's what this belt does. It processes the rock. That's it. All these things are getting crushed. I love it. All right. So sand moves up all the way over and eventually ends up in here. Good. Um, we also need you to be... I don't know how much water you're really going to output. So we're just going to do that. And that. And we'll build that. So the, ne the next thing, and really the most important thing I'm going to be building now, is this one here. I'm going to make this a priority. So when they get the construction parts, they deliver it directly here. I want to start processing this water ASAP. And that's also going to get the water into circulation, which is what I want to do too. We need to have all the water we can get, man. It's looking pretty clean. I like it. All right. The boat is unloaded. Still not upgraded. They're... They're working on it. I want to say they're working on it, but I, I can't say that confidently. Um, it's just not taken. There's another ship engine right here. Increases the speed and range of the ship. I would love to do that too, so we'll probably do that next. But we have tons of steel. They're just not bringing it here. And I'm wondering how to make that happen. How do I get them to prioritize this? It's probably just one of those, you know, free truck thing, right? Like... The truck is free so it can do it things. And I'm trying to build trucks. Like I'm going as fast as I can, I'm building trucks here. Um, but I wanted to replace some of the smaller trucks with larger trucks so I can situationally get them moving other resources around. And so I, I've been kind of scrapping some blue ones and trying to make the yellow ones as much as possible. Now I think we could probably, once we upgrade the pipe, I, it doesn't make any much sense to do it right now. Although maybe it does. I mean, look, like, this pipe is empty. We're not getting the steam anyway. I think we need to work on that too. Um, which brings me to the next part of my waste management. And that is this. The exhaust scrubber. This is going to generate low pressure steam. But that's okay, because I could send low pressure steam in here anyway. And I, I might be able to just tap it into this existing pipe to where if high pressure steam is in there, great. If low pressure steam is in there, great. And then they just split people out between the two recipes. Because really all that is is which steam is in there, right? So I don't know if I could just tap the low pressure steam into this existing pipe, like maybe over here. And then like if the high pressure steam is already built up. Oh, it's not there. It's Maybe it's over. Um, well, it's this. It's this pipe right Where's the pipe? This is a brine pipe. Where's the pressure pipe? It's got to be this one. Yeah, this is a pressure pipe. So I need to look at low pressure through here. It's like there's no there's no steam, right? So I need to get the low pressure steam into here too, uh, so it, that it can you know share the pipe with it, and that might be effective. So anyway, the exhaust scrubber is the next thing, right? We take exhaust, we have to add water to this, unfortunately, but we get sulfur, carbon dioxide, steam low, low pressure steam, and it only does a small amount of air pollution instead of the full unit. So in this case, there was gonna be 16 units of pollution. Now there's only three, but we're also gonna get carbon dioxide, which is in and of itself also some pollution to put out. So we would then wanna process that carbon dioxide in a new process, which I'm going to say is right here. We will process the carbon dioxide with hydrogen once we get there. And these two things will then create more fuel gas for us. So we'll effectively, we'll be using some of our pollution and we'll be, you know, adding hydrogen to get fuel gas there. So that's kind of nice. Instead of burning 200 units of carbon dioxide and getting a hundred air pollution, we use it and then we, you know, have the fuel gas, which is nice. Um, the other thing I wanted to do to sort of help with our pollution problem is has to do with the ammonia, right? We're, we're burning excess ammonia right now. I don't want to do that. If I look over here, you know, I guess it's paused now, but 
when this thing is running, right, the excess ammonia is always being flared because we're not making fertilizer. So I want to use ammonia and uh, have another reason to use it over here, right? And so if I take a look at ammonia as a recipe, I was, I was checking this out and we can actually, instead of using ammonia and nitrogen and water to make fertilizer, we can instead use it to make nitrogen and hydrogen. And that gives us the hydrogen that we would need to make the fuel gas later, which is kind of cool. The other thing we can use is digestate instead. So with fuel, or sorry, for food, we have been making fuel gas and dirt from our food. We can instead change this to now be food and digestate. And then we can use the digestate plus the water for fertilizer. In other words, we remove the, the, the need for ammonia from the equation by using this formula for fertilizer instead of using ammonia and nitrogen. The problem with this though, is that I'm already producing more ammonia than I can use. And I'm also not wanting to use water right now because I need to get the wastewater recirculating. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to be doing in the future. And the destiny for this area here was to create fertilizer. Um, so digestate will eventually be the formula that we're using here. But until I can actually use it, the ammonia is something I need to use. Um, and that's why I've got the fertilizer, you know, these fertilizer chem or these chemical plants making fertilizer. I can speak, I swear. <laughs> Um, so anyway, we can make hydrogen. Lots and lots of hydrogen needs to be made is where I'm getting at. And then the hydrogen with carbon dioxide is going to give us the fuel gas instead of using uh, or instead of getting dirt right from here. Right. So that's that's the game plan. I'm looking at this. I am seeing the food is slowly filling up. Right. When we started this video, the food was about half full in these containers. And now I'm seeing it slowly move up right which is what i want to see you always every time i glance at this area i want to see this i want to see food on this belt because it means that we're not short on food no matter what if i see this empty then i know i have a problem okay let me let this run for just a little bit i can see that um we're not really getting fuel to the cargo ship and that's because we're basically relying on this source to do it and that means we're missing fuel gas. I can't get fuel gas here unless I allow this to be split. Um, so I need the fuel gas to come from the other side, which is right here. And that's not happening because reasons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, yeah, because this wasn't running. So now we'll be sending fuel gas that way. This side needs to stay running. Most likely it wasn't running because of diesel. And you can see that this is burning which tells me that we have too much diesel. No. Why are you burning? Oh God, why are you? Oh God, did I? Oh, I didn't prioritize anything. That's my problem. <laughs> okay, send it to X instead, please. Oh man, that's the reason why I'm low on fuel gas. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, hold on. So can you stop, please? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now send the fuel gas. <laughs> and we're, we are burning ammonia. I was right about that. Um, but okay. If I haven't shown you this before, uh, I just wanted to show it to you, I guess, because I know that there's a, like, a little gap in the episodes and stuff. This um, prioritizes O. This prioritizes X. Now it does, anyway. Um, they're just little pipe balancers. Send it to the supply for storage if you can't burn it. Um, just so the whole just so the whole like system stays operational and running. But I really don't want the, I, I really want to process that ammonia differently, right? We're gonna create lots of hydrogen anyway, but we can always just get rid of the hydrogen. So maybe instead of burning this, why don't I just start this process now? Because it gives us a cleaner alternative to, to burning the hydrogen. I think that's probably for the best. So here's what we'll do instead. We will take this pipe away Goodbye, pipe. Electrolyzer. We're going to put the electrolyzers here. And I think I'll just go ahead and put like, maybe just two. We'll start with two. Is that even gonna be enough? 10 seconds. Yeah, I mean, maybe that prevents it from, I think I'm gonna need more than that though. Let's put three of them here. Can I even afford to build that many? They're so expensive to build. 
Ugh, I hate how expensive these are. Here's what we'll do then. Um, it's a little bit more messy, but it's going to work. You know, eventually, once it's done building. We'll put the pipe balancer in. It's going to be right underneath this, right? So we'll put this pipe balancer in. Let's paste it this way. Yeah, like this. Um, we'll have this pipe go into there. Um, it's going to wrap around this way and then eventually hook up to the same port where it was already. Right? So that's where the ammonia goes. Um, but it's going to go this way first. If it can. So we'll hook it up here. There is no reason to need level 2 belts here. We could just go to here with the level 2. And then level 1 there. There. And there. Uh, and then this has the, the hydrogen, right? So we're going to create hydrogen from the excess ammonia. Right? And then the hydrogen... I believe you have to flare it, but it's not pollution, right? It's the only thing you can flare that's not pollution. So we set up a flare over here and, um, you know, we simply say, hey, well, probably gonna do it somewhere that makes, oh, I can just fit it right here. That's kind of interesting. Isn't that in the way though? For using it, I think that's eventually in the way. Maybe over here. You have to go over top of this pipe, though. It won't look very clean. I think I could just do it here like this. Let's just do it like this. But where's the pipe balancer going to go? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just put it back here. So we'll put this like this. All right. Then we'll take a pipe balancer. And I'll just set it like... I don't know. Over here, I guess. No, it should be on this side, because this is where I eventually want to go. I, I eventually want to wrap it around and use this in this area, so... Uh, we'll just set it... Uh, like this, I guess. Okay, hydrogen... is going to eventually wrap around... over here. Oh, I could go one more, just to make that clean. Let's just do this first. The pipe balancer could go like that. And then the pipe goes like uh, this. And the other pipe wraps around and dumps into here because it's messy. And whatever. <laughs> I guess. Um, but then this, uh, the hydrogen, right? We're going to bring it up and over. Bring it up. Connect it there. And this hydrogen goes up and over. Right? Like this. And so we end up with... You know, a, a situation at least where we can use this excess hydrogen, and I want to get, I want to get at least one of these built. But unfortunately, we have to use Unity to build in this area. I don't know, maybe not. The trucks can get over here, and then they, I think, you know, they, they go underneath this pipe, so they can definitely deliver here. So they should be able to deliver this. I'm pretty sure this has to be delivered with Unity. Um, so I can just maybe do that now, since I don't think the trucks can do it anyway. Um, but what we're gonna want to do on this little hydrogen pipe is we're going to want to prioritize the output to O. And so if it can go to O, great. If not, go to X and burn it. And it's going to be hydrogen that it burns, right? Real easy stuff. So no pollution. So we're working on it. I'm working on, you know, trying to make people healthier so our population can reliably grow, right? We've got level two housing on all these different places now. I've filled this in now to... You know, you saw that last time, I guess. Um, and, you know, we're going to start processing the wastewater, which is getting close. It's at least started construction anyway. Once this starts, like once this is up and running, then we'll see the wastewater go this way instead. I'll switch this to, to, to O, actually. I could just do that now. So once this starts operations, or once this starts, you know, once it's built, it should just start working. And it will cycle the water into the system and it just goes directly into the water supply which is all the way over here and it's going to share a belt belt no a pipe i can speak it's been a long day i know i use that as an excuse for a lot of things but man has it <laughs> um this is going to be sharing a pipe with this and of course this is fully saturated right now and uh that is a problem but there's not much i can do about that problem 
because I don't have higher level uh, pipes. But once we get higher level pipes, then we're good to go. We get higher level pipes from research, of course, and that the higher level pipes are here. So it's a little ways away. Not that far, though. As soon as we get research here, I could just beeline it. So I could get to maybe reset my queue. And it looks like I can go directly there if I want to. So we can go to silicon, the whole new thing, quartz, coal, graphite, wow. Um, then we can get to electronics and maintenance, then the data center, then tier four construction parts, and then pipes, which I assume take tier four construction parts. Uh, but this is gonna increase our flow by three X. So all these main pipes that are fully saturated, those are the only ones I'm gonna use those parts for. But the really big ones, right? Like this is a main water line. It should be upgraded. This one too, right? These these two big ones, they should be upgraded, right? So uh, the bigger, I don't, I don't really need these ones done because they're all like local. But as you get into this area and you come out of this, these tanks and stuff, these need to be higher capacity because they're feeding lines that are higher capacity. I don't really want to have lots and lots of pipes. Um, and like, imagine if my colony was like this everywhere. I mean, it, I guess it could work. I am using this pretty effectively as far as the space goes. This guy's like, man, I have to drive around. Maybe I just, I mean, it's, it's not necessary, right? But we could just to... Uh, just so they don't have to drive around it anymore. Okay. They'll say I never did anything for you. They're still gonna turn. Yeah, here he goes. Oh, whatever. You suck. <laughs> I bet his path was already like predetermined. But yeah, okay, so that's what we're gonna be working on, okay? Wastewater, because that's where a lot of our population's down. And then for the exhaust, we gotta kind of pick and choose where that's gonna happen. Um, I think the main reason or main place I'm gonna start for that is going to be over here because these things are always running and these boilers are always chucking this into the atmosphere right so i think the first place i'm going to look to do to do this this exhaust scrubber right because we already have water here too it is going to be here and we're going to get low pressure steam we can get that over into here and actually i think because we're going to be creating eight eight uh every 10 seconds it says wow um this thing uses four every five seconds so that's the same ratio 48 and 60 and uh and uh 96 no 48 right here and 60. so i could add another low pressure turbine and use the exhaust to add to my power supply which is kind of a cool idea i think is a cool idea i might also want to move this ramp over which I can do pretty easily and move this ramp over just to make room for it here. And I could just line it up to the existing, you know, expand it over here into the system rather than doing it over here. I could probably get away with it here though. I left space here for adding low pressure turbines. I left them the space here for that. Um, and then I just decided to do it on this side instead because I thought it might look better and cleaner and stuff, but I can do it over here. <clears throat> so, you know, we might do that. This exhaust scrubber is expensive, but it's gold parts, not red parts. So we're going to add 36 water a minute, though. We've got to find a way to source that water. I think this is already really crowded. Like water is having a hard time. I think maybe I tap into it over here. Start pumping it over here and just pipe it into here, right? The seawater stuff. Like I take... Um, I take this whole workflow right here, right? We just take this. Hey, wanna do that for me? Yeah, right there. And then we just like, come over here with it. And we just start it like right here, right? We process this like that, right? It could be exactly the same. It doesn't have to change. Um, we process it here and then we send one of the pipes as water that way and we send one of the steam pipes over this way. And maybe we add a boiler to help compensate for that. But we, we just basically double the pipe. One pipe going that way, one pipe coming this way um, that provides steam for this. And then we just, you know, we have the brine, we just dump it because it's brine. We don't, we don't care. 
All right, so we get another dump, maybe over here. I could even put this right next to it, but whatever, just for the sake of expansion. You know? We do something like that. And then we just, you know, we, we pipe it and we do it. And we have another source of seawater that's getting processed into water and sent this direction. Because this direction is easier to support. I mean, I know this pipe is full because these tanks are... Well, I guess the tanks aren't full. I thought the tanks would be full. All the rainwater comes from this side. But you see what I'm saying? Like, I think that's doable. I think this is doable. So that's what we'll that's what we'll try to do i'll try to get steam sent over here we'll start dipping into this area for um for rainwater or sorry for seawater with four more of these um and we'll send it this way and then of course we're gonna add i think maybe we'll add like an, one more boiler i could add up to two more i think i got the space for um but what i don't have the space for is delivering coal to it at this point that part's a little bit more challenging because now it's wrapping around this i could always have the I guess I could always tap out tap the coal out of this one. You know? I would be robbing the supply, but it's already being fed from the other side anyway. So maybe that would work okay. These are ideas, right? I got lots of ideas. I'm, I'm just walking you and talking you through them, okay? That's what we're doing today. Lots of ideas and talking you through them. Um, for spare trucks, how many do we have? Not very many. And you know, the, this, this truck queue, right, is like 16,000 right now. Again, I have no idea where that is. Everything's running smoothly. Everything's fine. There's just one task that a truck cannot do. I've been looking all over the place to figure it out. Maybe it's these. Maybe they're trying to import or something in here. That's possible, I guess. Let me turn all this stuff off and see if it goes away. It's usually one of these types of situations where the trucks want to get in someplace and they can't. So if I turn all these off, maybe the trucks will just forget about doing it and they'll be all right. And we'll just see it all of a sudden go back down to zero. That's how it, it'll just all of a sudden be zero. Uh, groundwater resource is low. It's probably this side. Yeah, we'll shut this one off. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so still looking for that truck. No idea where it is. It's not, it's not stuff like this. This is, this is simple stuff, but... I don't want to dump the sand. I'm trying to level it. So um, if I was going to dump the sand anywhere, I would want it to be over here, which we're going to start using sand so that they have a place to take it. That's the whole point. So once these are built, that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. Once these are built, it's going to be good. We're almost full on the chlorine storage here. And maybe we take the, the exports off. I'm going to pipe this over into this area too, which goes into these two middle sections, right? So chlorine can just be a single pipe coming out of here. Comes up over top of this. Uh, and we can just bring it. I wanted to bring it over top of this pipe. That's okay. That's fine. Then we duck it down just like this. Uh, actually, would can I go even tighter to this? Ooh, between these tanks would have been cool. Yeah, I can go right over top of this. Yep, this is much better. I like this better. Um, I want to go just a little bit further. Just so I can continue it easier. If I go directly there, it'll make a bend in the pipe. And then I won't be able to connect to it. So I want to... Come on. There. And there. And then we'll just deliver that and deliver that. So, yeah. Wastewater treatment, we're gonna start that. And then we're gonna start uh, processing the exhaust over on this side. And that's gonna help, it's gonna help us with our air pollution problem, which is already coming down a little bit, right? I'm starting to, it's down here now, instead of being way up here, which is okay. I think it's mostly because there's a lot of machines that aren't running. Um, but like the wastewater, we're gonna see that dip down now because we're gonna start processing it. Sending water back to the system, which I like. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I'm going to keep hunting for whatever this truck is. I don't know what it is. I can't, I can just can't figure it out. I don't know. I've clicked like literally, literally everything. Just, I'm going around from truck to truck. Idle, what's idle? Idle, 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 idle. And I just, I recover them all and send them on their way and nothing works. So most likely what it is, it's, it's a task that doesn't have, a, that has a low priority that is not being done because the limited spare trucks we have are doing higher priority stuff. 
most likely that's what it is. And again, as long as everything is running smoothly, people have their food, water, power. They're getting their household goods eventually. This is running with a boost. So uh, yeah, as long as they're getting that stuff, then I'm not really concerned about it at all. I've also lifted this up. Um, you'll see why in the future, or maybe you can just look at this and wonder what I'm gonna do, but I've lifted this up for a reason. Um, so it'll be really easy to to add on to that, wink, wink, um, when we need to. And then these ones are boosted as well because I was running low on the level one parts again. So we need to get the level two parts made faster and mostly the level three parts made faster too. So these ones need, I think I wanna boost this one. And I think I'm gonna also boost this one so that it goes faster. Okay, I'm gonna let it run here. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it, seriously. It means a great deal to me. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.